the following video was produced and published on our other channel, The History of Weapons. Both these channels are very aligned. Definitely click that link below and kick back and enjoy the following. Air Force pilot Daniel James Jr., nicknamed Chappie, entered Tuskegee Institute on a football scholarship and became a Tuskegee Airman in World War II. After the war, he continued to pilot and flew over 200 combat missions in Korea and Vietnam. Later became a colonel and he commanded the 72nd 72nd Fighter Training Wing and was responsible for managing the U.S. withdrawal from Libyan Air Force Base Wheelis. Till 1970, British occupied Libya allowed the U.S. to have a strategic bomber base in Libya that at one time was the largest U.S. military base outside the U.S., 20 square miles on the coast of Tripoli in Libya, and it housed the largest military hospital outside the U.S. as well. In 1959, oil was discovered in Libya, making a poor country into a wealthy country almost overnight. In September 1969, King Idris of Libya was overthrown by Libyan military officials being led by Muammar Gaddafi. Prior to the Libyan revolution, the U.S. had already decided to withdraw from Libyan Air Force Base Wheelis as strategic missiles became more valuable in the region than bombers. As the U.S. withdrawal from Wheelis Air Force Base continued, Gaddafi wanted to try and get not only the base, but the military equipment inside before the U.S. withdrawal completed. During the final days of the U.S. withdrawal, Muammar Gaddafi ran a column of half-tracks through the military housing of the base and Colonel Daniel James shut the gate to prevent further access by Gaddafi and his troops and then met Gaddafi a few yards past the gate in true Western style. Libya at the time was extremely hostile towards the U.S. as in June of 1967 Israel forces defeated Egypt, Syria, and Jordan an anti-U.S. sentiment throughout Libya led to the stoning of the U.S. Embassy as well as U.S. Air Force Base Wheelis vehicles have been burned. As Colonel James and Gaddafi talked, Gaddafi put his hand on his weapon strapped to his hip and leg. Colonel James referred to this weapon as being a fancy pistol. Many historians believe it's the gold-plated Browning high power that Gaddafi was famous for carrying. Meanwhile, Colonel James was armed with a Colt 1911 on his side. Colonel James told Gaddafi to move his hand away from the weapon. He was later in an interview quoted as saying, I had my 45 on my belt, and if he had pulled that gun, he never would have cleared the holster. The moment passed, Gaddafi withdrew his hand and turned and left the base. Colonel Daniel Chappie James Jr. successfully completed the withdrawal of 4,000 people and $21 million in assets from Wheelis Air Force Base. He was later quoted as saying, I didn't have time to think about getting killed. There was too much to do. Later, Colonel James became the first African-American four-star general and the commander of the North American Air Defense Command. In May of 1987, President Ronald Reagan spoke at the General Daniel Chappie James Jr. Center for Aerospace Science and Health Education and referred to General James Chappie as having four stars on his shoulder and 50 stars in his heart. Thank you for watching this episode of the history of weapons.